Hello there. Could be a short video of this. Um, I've, um, I'm on the what they call the Redford Bypass near Rainford, called the A570, and I'll tell you the reason why I'm here in a second. But um, as you can see, I bought myself a, a an e-bike. Now, normally I don't ride bicycles anymore, especially in this country. Too scurry, to be honest with you. But I bought the e-bike for a reason. Um, I bought it because when I go to Europe this year, uh, I've been cycling quite a lot of um, areas, mainly in woodlands, it's things I want to explore. Now, I've used a, an ordinary bicycle for the past, well, last year, year before, and uh, I found it quite hard, to be honest with you, because I don't ride bicycles anywhere. And um, the reason I'm here on the Rainford Bypass is because it's got dedicated cycle paths. Now, a lot in our country, don't really have that. I mean, they have cycle paths, and the government are trying to put more cycle paths in, but I've looked at what they've put in. And to be honest with you, they're only short sections before you hit a road again, which are just dangerous. To me, it's dangerous. I'll ride a motorbike, but with motorbikes, I can keep up. That's the different. That's difference. And you've got protective gear and stuff like that. Unfortunately, I haven't brought me out. I forgot about it, but never mind. I'll be going much faster, very fast anyway. So this is about, I'm only guessing, about 10 mile round trip. I won't be doing that because I'm not fit enough, but I'm going to give the e-bike a go and I'm going to take you across uh, and have a look at the bike I've got and give you a little bit of information. I can't give you a lot because I've, I've not had it that long and it's the first time I'm actually trialling it. So fingers crossed that I do a decent job and not fall off and um, hurt myself. So this is the Hitway um, see foldable bike. To be honest with you, I might be all right without um, folding it in half in the motorhome anyway, but look enough, my car here, I managed to edit it back. Uh, 36 volt battery, it says it does over 30 miles. Um, it's got big fat tyres, and hopefully these tyres, and they're very, very grippy actually, it feels like it anyway, weird rubber. Uh, hopefully they're going to help me across some uh, woodland I'm, I'll be cycling in. Um, I won't be going fast anyway, but um, it gives me, it helps me save myself some energy. Uh, it's got lights fitted to this. Uh, it's got uh, a light there. That's there, but I've put these on just to, I don't need to put them on. So I've got these, the rechargeable, so I'll switch them on in a minute anyway. I'll leave it like that. Uh, that's just a water bottle. I bought that bag there, put some tools in. Uh, I think it's about seven gears. Yeah, seven gears. And um, this is how you change up, pressing that button there, like that, see it? And push it back that way. This little bar here, I've bought that separately. Uh, and that's to put the camera on, and that's to put my phone in. Because when I go abroad and look at these places, I have to use, um, I, I usually use Google Maps or something similar. And uh, even though sometimes in, in these woodlands I can't get a signal, but the GPS still works on the phone. So I can pick things up. Uh, such as um, the, the points I want to go and look at. So that's a bit of a plus. I know when I use this um, this bike, I have to pedal in in England, and I think across Europe, you're not allowed to use a throttle as much as you can buy one for this thing, plug it in, but if you use it and get caught, no doubt you'll get done because it's classed as a moped then or a scooter or something like that. So as long as I'm pedaling a little bit with the assisted power, then I should be all right. I'm going to try it without initially and then I'm going to switch it on uh, and just see if um, see how it goes. That's the main thing. Right, I'll just switch it on and show you uh, how it sort of works, really. So there's a key in here. Turn that key that way. You can lift it up. It'll... Pull it out, you go, well you just a little lever on here, lift it up like that, and then you can get the battery out nicely, so that's a good thing. I don't know how soft the seat's going to be yet, so we'll find out in a minute. I turn the key fully that way, it's switched on. Then I press that middle button, I hold it in for a few seconds, and it comes on. So we should be giving me the speed, it's giving the assist, which is one, two and three, I'll show you in a minute. There's the mileage. As you can see, I don't think I've, I've not really used it, to be honest with you, only around the backs where I live. Uh, so I press that, it goes one, so it's assisting me by one. Two, a little bit more of assist. Three, and again, a little bit, if I'm getting tired, hopefully it'll assist me a bit better. 
if you press this down here when it's on zero it goes into minus one rp push or whatever it's just assisting so i'm not doing anything i'm just holding it if you get tired you can walk alongside of it instead of you pushing the bike the bike sort of walks alongside of you the pedals fold up just press them in lift them up and that's it dead easy so hopefully that's going to help me uh, think i'm going to try without first i'm going to use the first assist second assist third assist see what it's like now obviously the dedicated cycle paths when i go into woodlands it's going to be a bit different the uh i've been into a couple of woodlands and they seem to be all right uh, but some can be a little bit overgrown so i may have to carry it over bits and pieces which is understandable but the main thing is is going to assist me to get the places there's just two or three places i'm going to like 15 square miles take me all day if it was on a push bike i'd be i'd be worrying myself out pushing the bike besides cycling it <laughs> so let's see what happens right i hope you can hear me i've just started off now uh, it's not assisted at the moment just our normal just push bike really i'll just say it so if you can see where i'm on now the all over place i think so moment i'm doing all right chair to fifth <coughs> sixth much better actually now just pe pedaling it without assistance uh, than the other bike but the other bike was old and the, the, the gears wouldn't work very well so I don't know what speed I'm doing at the moment I'll switch it on see what happens oh, I'm doing 10 miles an hour without pedal assist right I'll give myself a pedal assist see what happens I'll put it in one it's all right. One's not a lot. Maybe when I'm fitter, I can do one. And uh, it might be, uh, well, the battery will last longer, won't it? Oh, two's different. Two kicked in then. <coughs> that was much better. Yeah, it kicks in great at two. Really good. Right, I'll stop. I'm still on uh, assist two on the flat. I've gone to sixth gear, seventh gear. And I'm doing 12 mile an hour. I know when I go into third, third assist, it should take me up to uh, 15 mile an hour. See where I'm Right. Bloody hell. Third gear. Third gear. I mean, sorry, third assist. I'm at top of the uh, gears at seven. And uh, 15.6 mile an hour, which he said he wouldn't do. And it's quite easy. Very easy actually. Actually, to be honest with you, I'm pedalling, but it feels as though I should change up gear. Because the matter here I'm pedalling, I'm hardly pedalling. It's the gears are with the assist is taking over. So it's pushed me along and it feels as though I'm pedalling as though I'm not even in gear. Oh, I don't like these roads. These are the bits I hate. There we are. I'm just not a, a cyclist for our country. So I get across here. I know that one under the bridge there is a major turn to to Rainford, the village itself. So I'll go across here so I can get across here. This is easy for me. I have to cycle down there then. That's it. That's better. Yeah, there's the junction on the you see it and not to the left. 
it's always busy. So I'll stay on this side. You can see tractor, tractor marks here. It's all rural round here. There's not much cattle, if any at all. It's all growing wheat and stuff like that. Obviously this thing here, that's not very nice, is it? My you, I'll do that, so uh, I'm in a woodland. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. Very easy, actually. I'm pedalling, but I'm not pedalling. That makes sense. That was quite easy, that. I've done three miles, that was dead easy. And I'm definitely not fit. So, uh, so far, the bike's uh, living up to uh, what I was hoping it would do. It's easy doing on time, like, though, it's when you start to do it on grass. Bit of grass there, I might give it a go on that, see what I think it feels like. Because uh, I'll be doing on mainly roads that are not tarmac, probably shale, uh, and more than likely grass and uh, compressed um, chippings or something like that, or just mulch on the floor. So we'll only find that out when I go again this year. Right, right. As you can see, I'm on the grass. A bit bumpy, eh? but it's still all right. Still all right. Yeah, it feels good. Feels all right, that. A bit harder, but then again, it's all right. I think the bike senses if I'm on grass or not because it's just kicked in again. As I said, I'm pedalling, but really, if I pedal any faster, I won't go any faster. You see this artist on market, that's usually on at weekends, that. Uh, Ingle Nook Farm, that big fit, that 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 building there, it's a cafe inside. Really, really nice. Nice to stop off on a on a journey to a place called Southport, which is another probably 15 mile further on. Actually, it's not so bad actually. I've put in second gear and doing seven mile an hour. It's not a lot, but I want on a terrain that's not suited really for maybe this bike with a tyre. The wheels are good actually, I'm all over the place, but it's not bad. Not bad at all really. I'm going to expect stuff this terrain like this anyway. So with the assist on number three, it's coping fairly well. I get them hardly pedalling. That's good. Right, back on tarmac. Right, go on the grass again, on assist one, on, uh, let me have a look, number four. Yeah, it's not bad actually. I'll pedal along quite easily. And this, if you can see the floor, probably a bit wobbly. A lot of molehills, it looks like it. A bit bumpy, but generally not bad. Not bad at all, really. Oh, it might be a daft thing to do, but I'll do this anyway on this dirt. See that the tyres grip. Quite good actually. The tyres are gripping really, really nice on this really uneven surface. Not bad. So I'm on zero assist. I've done five miles so far, and obviously I'm not going fast at all. And I've still got the full four, one, two, five bars. And when I pedal, it goes down a bar, but generally not too bad. I did six miles anyway. Well, back at the car. Probably been out, I don't know. Half an hour or so, maybe, something like that. Did six miles. Uh, I give the bike fairly good test, considering I've never really tried it properly before, only up and down the uh, backs of some houses where I live. But uh, I must admit, I really enjoyed it. It was very easy to pedal on uh, tarmac, on a bit of mud and some grass. As long as you get the gearing right, and you can fiddle about the uh, the assists anyway. If you're fit enough, you do it all right. But I'm surprised really because these little wheels, um, you know that you'd be pedalling a bit quicker if you had if you had little wheels compared to big wheels. You know what I mean? But with this, with the battery, well, the battery needs switching off actually. The battery, um, so far six miles, not a lot to this battery. I've probably got another twenty odd miles of the battery actually, which is perfect. Uh, what bottle on the bike? I stopped a couple of times for a drink. I don't feel tired at all. My legs are normally like jelly because I, I, when I went to the bike, I said I was practicing last year. I only did about two or three miles, if that, and my legs were like jelly. 
But this, in this case, it's uh, the assist has made a massive difference. Maybe the bike has well been better. It's brand new, isn't it? But uh, overall, overall, um, I really enjoyed it. This bar as well is a separate bar to this, obviously, and it's got a battery in it. So if the battery was going flat, say on the camera or on before, I could plug it in and charge it up a little bit, you know, until I've got back to wherever I'm going, really. I've not tried it, I've not separated it yet as such to put it in the, uh, in the car, but the, actually, I just need to drop that down, or actually that's quite low though, I've just forgotten, I've just realised I've not lifted it up from where I normally have it, I've just rode it like that, so if you go like that, put this up. That's easy, these, these easy release clips are brilliant. That the, uh, I can't lift it up unless I push that bar back to move the angle bar, but I'm not that bothered actually. Uh, but generally, suspension as well, suspension up front. Uh, there's the, there's the, uh, there's the, uh, the, the power bank, uh, well the power bank's there, but the motor's there I should say. Um, all right, not a review, I haven't had it long enough. It may be terrible in a couple of months' time, but if it does, I'll come back to you and tell you. But generally, as long as you're pedalling, you'll go whatever speed, you know, the uh, the motor will let you. Uh, but I know when I'm in the top gear, especially on tarmac, I'm pedalling, but I can see that it actually feels as though um, I can't go any other gear. It's the top gear, and I'm pedalling like crazy. So what I'll do is I'll slow down a little bit just to see if it actually carries on assisting me with pedal. But generally the bike's brilliant. Oh, and that seat is really, really soft. Proper soft. I like it. So far, my backside's all right, so that says something, doesn't it? Right, end of the video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, see you on the next one.